Welcome on Dronebird's YouTube channel. This is the product review series and we're going to review the FR Sky transmitter modules. The FR Sky transmitter modules can be divided into two groups. The first is the non-telemetry V8 mode modules and the other is the telemetry capable D mode modules. The V8 mode modules not produced anymore so you can just purchase now the D mode modules. The V8FT is an old FUDABA slot compatible module which is not produced anymore so if you are looking for a replacement you need to buy the DFT. The V8GT transmitter module is also a non-telemetry module which is compatible with the GR slots which for example can be the Turnigy 9X, 9XR and 9XR Pro but it is also not produced anymore so the replacement is the DGT transmitter module. The V8HT is a do-it-yourself kind of transmitter module which is not capable to deliver the telemetry data and it's not produced anymore so if you're looking for a replacement it will be the DHT. The DFT is one of the most popular transmitter module if you are using a footable or high-tech type transmitter it's capable to deliver the telemetry data so it's a D mode kind of module it works with both uh, V8 or D mode kind of receiver you can see the compatible receivers list on the screen the DGT is the other popular receiver if you are using a GR type transmitter which is for example the Turnigy 9X, 9XR and 9XR Pro. It also capable to deliver the telemetry data and compatible with the V8 or D mode receivers and you can find a list of the compatible receivers here. If you're doing a do-it-yourself project and you need a do-it-yourself kind of transmitter modules you need to buy the DHT which is capable to deliver the telemetry data so uh, the compatible receiver list is really wide as you can see on the screen. DHTU is pretty similar to the DHT but it has an interconnected display also supports the telemetry data and supports wide range of receivers. The XJT transmitter module is a GR Grubner type transmitter module which can handle up to 16 channels and it's capable to deliver telemetry data as well. The supported receivers list is really wide. If you have a D mode kind of transmitter modules, you can bind that with a D telemetry mode kind of receiver or with a V8 non telemetry uh, kind of receiver as well. If you have a DFT or DJT transmitter module, you will find two two-way switches at the back of the transmitter module. By position those accordingly, you can define whether the communication will be a D telemetry communication or a V8 non-telemetry communication mode. In case of some V8 non-telemetry kind of receivers, you can bind the transmitter module and the receiver in D mode also, but actually it doesn't matter because the receiver will not be able to send the telemetry data back to the transmitter module. If you're using a DHT or DHTU transmitter modules, there is one two-way switch on it. The one-way position means V8 non-telemetry binding mode, the two-way position means D telemetry binding mode. Please subscribe, feel free to share these videos, and do not forget to raise your questions or comments. Thank you for watching.